Hi everyone, welcome back to day 31st of my 100 days challenge. It will be solving one of the most asked SQL question by top companies like OYO, Make My Trip, Netflix. So let's see the question. So the question says, find the employees who earn more than their managers. Now this is the question that is being asked by so many other companies as well. So let's see the table. So we have a table with the employee details where we have the employee ID, employee name and their salary and their manager ID. Now we need to find out those employee details who has their salary which is more than their manager. So let's see the table and the data that we have. So we have one column which is IDs that has the employees IDs. We have employees and names and their salary and their manager ID. Now this manager ID itself is the employee ID in this table. Now if you want to see the employee who has more than their manager's salary that is going to be this one which is Eva because Eva has a salary which is 95,000 and the manager ID is 2. Now if you see the person who has an employee ID 2 that is this Bob. Now Bob's salary is 80,000 so that means this is the employee what we are looking for. Now the second employee that has a salary which is more than their manager that is going to be this record which is Sam because Sam's manager ID is also 2 so that means that's going to be Bob so Bob's salary is 80,000 so these are the two records who has a salary which is more than their manager. Now you can see this is the output what we are looking for. So let's go to pgadmin4 where I have created the table and inserted this data. So now here you can see I have created this table and inserted this records with all these employee details. Now we can just verify it, we can just run this query to see the records. So you can see we have all these records which is again all these 8 employees records. Okay? Now we just need to find out the employees who has salary which is more than their manager's salary. So as I said we will solve this problem using two approach. So I am just going to solve this problem first using subquery approach. So let's kind of write it here. Approach. Now if you think you can solve this question you can pause the video, download the data set from the video descriptions and try to solve by yourself. And then you can just match your approach with me and you can share your approach in the comment box. So let's continue. So first let's just select the table. So you can see we have the table here which is ID, name, salary, department and hiring date what we do not need. So I'm just going to unselect few of the columns which I don't need. So I would need ID, I would need name and uh, I'm going to need salary and I'm going to need their manager ID because based on the manager ID we will find out their manager salary right so these are the four columns what we need so i've given a simple alias to this table called employees which is e1 and from e1 i'm selecting id name salary and the manager id so if i run it i get the simple result right now what i will do i would say where and here i'm going to compare with this salary okay so i'm going to say where the salary greater than now here I must put this employees manager salary so in SQL it will work row by row right so first it will complete the row for one then it will complete the task for the row two and then row three right for each row it will try to match this condition like the salary of that row should be whatever I'm going to put it here right so for Alice we do not know the manager's salary so we're going to ignore it but for Bob we know the manager's salary because the manager ID, if you see for Bob, manager ID is 1. So that means the one employee ID belongs to this employee, which is called Alice. So that's going to be 90,000, right? So that means we will put 90,000 here. So this 90,000 means this manager's ID. Manager ID is salary, right? So if you just execute it, this condition is not going to be true. The reason is that you see Bob's salary is less than their manager's salary because the manager's salary is 90,000. So we are not going to select it. Say, same way for this two employee also we are not going to select it because they have a salary which is less than their manager. But if you see this employee which is Eva. So Eva has a salary of 95,000. That means here we have 95,000 and Eva's manager is 2. So 2 means that is Bob. So Bob has a salary of 80,000. So that means for Eva it's going to be true and we are going to select this employee records. Okay. Same way we will be selecting this employee record which is same. Now how do we get the employee that SQL is working at the time that employs manager's salary here okay because here you cannot put it manually. So to solve this we can use something called correlated subquery okay so very simple approach so I'm going to say select salary from employees okay. Now if I just run this query select salaries from employees I will just get one column which is called salaries so you can see all the salaries I'm getting right. Because this employees is the main table, right? This is our main table. So if I just run it again to show you all the columns, you can see we have all the columns, right? So here I can use the where conditions, right? I can say where and I can say ID equals, okay, ID equals something, right? So let's say for EBA, if we want to check for this employee records and, uh, and we say ID equals something like this, which is two, okay? 
so you can say two so this means and here I can just but now I'm just going to show it okay let me just run it you see I am getting one of the record one of the employee record where the employee ID is to right it's a simple one state where conditions right so I'm saying hey select everything from employees where ID is a two okay now let's say if I only select this column which is called salary here so I can simply go ahead and say salary right and this table I can give a name called as e2 okay so that means I would say e2 dot id equals to and here I would say e2 dot salary right let me just organize this query okay so this is still a select statement this has nothing to do with whatever is going on in the outer query right we are getting 80,000 so we are getting one of the employees salary based on this id okay so let's run it again this outer query and let's see so now what we are saying here is that hey select me one of the record where that records salary is greater than this query okay so this query must return that employees managers a salary right so how do we ensure this query return the salary you have seen that we are saying select salary from this table okay where the employee id from this table employee id equals to something so here we can every time that we check for specific employee for that employee we can put the manager id here right instead of two we can put it one we can put it three so that is how we will be getting their manager's salary here right because here we are saying select this salary from this employee as employee two where the employee id i want the salary for the employee id who is the manager you can see e1 of manager right that means outside table we have the uh, everything right in the outside table that employee must be a manager and that then only we want that a salary okay so let's see whatever is happening here okay let's understand again order of execution here okay as soon as you run this query so first sql will complete this inner query okay so this is the inner query so to in inner query it's a simple one line select statement with where conditions so we are saying hey select salary from employees okay where the employee id equals this manager id now how does sql get this manager id you see this is coming from e1 table that means it is coming from the outer table now sql will get this manager id from the outside table okay so when sql is working for this employee for this employee sql is going to get the manager id so this employee doesn't have a manager id so sql is going to ignore this one then sql will work for this employee so for this this is going to be the first manager id that is one so if you put one here you get 90,000 right because now here we are saying hey select the salary from employee table where the id equals one if you put one here that means you get the salary that is 90,000 right so once you have 90,000 here then you are again going to select everything and SQL is going to compare this salary that means this this employee's salary with this 90,000 salary so that is how SQL is going to work one by one by all the records and then try to fetch based on this manager id try to fetch the salary here in the inner query and only re return the results where the employee has a salary which is more than their manager salary now if you want to check the employee who has less than their manager salary we can just change this greater than to less than so all this employee has a salary which is less than their manager salary so this is how we have solved this using approach one now this one you just need to practice two or three times to understand the concept between this uh, logic that we have built okay so here we just need to build a relation in this inner query with this outer query so usually in the inner query and outer query there is no relation in sub query but here we have built a connection okay because to solve inner query sql has to get the result the value from the outer query so that is the reason we call it correlated sub query okay so that was approach one so let's see what is the approach two going to be so i'm going to say approach two approach to to solve this problem so in the approach to i'm going to use something called self join okay so let me just select all the columns so i'm just going to use here only okay so i'm just going to select everything now this is the table i have you can see i have id name salary and the manager id now in the approach to i'm going to use something called self join like i will be joining this table with itself and then I will based on this manager ID from my first table with the second table employee ID so that I can get based on this manager ID I can get this employees salary name and each and everything okay so this is the approach what I'm going to do it now if I just want to show you let me just export it to Excel and let me just create two tables so that I can show you this example okay so let's say we have this records here okay 
so we have this record here this is my first table let's just say we have one more table here okay now here what we are saying is that based on this manager id we can get the employees a salary right based on this manager id based on this id we can get this id's a salary okay so that means what we will do based on this id we will try to see hey who have this id okay so this id belongs to this okay that is alice so we will return alice salary here that is going to be 90000 okay so that is 90000 now again this is going to be also 90000 so because all these three person have the same manager id that means this same employee id and this employee id has a salary of 90000 okay see at the end this is an employee id only right this person's id that you see that's an employee id only now this is the two so for two you can see the salary is going to be for bob is 80000 so we will have 80000 here now again we will have 80000 here so three again three is also employee id so three we will have charles that's going to be 75000 here okay so one again 90000 for two that's going to be for two that's 80000 okay so 80000 so if you see the relation that the join that it that it build is that manager id based on this manager id we had to check in the id and then we had to return this salary okay so that means we are joining the same table with the same table itself but with a different column so here we are using the manager id and here we are joining with the id because we wanted to find out based on the manager id we wanted to return the salary correct so this is how we will solve this question so this is going to be self joined now see i'm just given alias which is e1 so everything i'm getting e1 from here so i would say join here and this is the inner join i'm doing so i'm just going to say join with employee table as e2 okay so this is fine i'm joining this employee table as e2 now i need to build a relation right on what condition i'm joining so here i'm going to say that e1 of see this is very very important you need to build the relationship correctly so we would say e1 of manager id equals e2 of employee id so here most of the people get confused okay so the reason is that see based on this manager id we have to find the whatever we're looking for in the second table right based on this manager id we need to look in the employee id because this manager id it's an employee id right but not for this employee but that employee id belongs to a different employee that is a manager of this employee okay if you see here this id it's it's an employee id only but this employee did not belongs to this record right this employee id belongs to a different records what is the relation this records this employee is the manager okay so that means this employee must have name and must have salary so that means how do we build a relation based on this manager id we check in the employee id in another table and then we return whatever we need okay so this is done now from the second table i can simply return whatever i need let's say i can return the name as well i can return the salary as well so sometimes it asks like get me the manager id based on get me the manager id along with the employer records so you can use this one now, to get the manager name it's going to be the same right we just need to say e2 dot name so that means from second table i'm saying name and i'm saving it as a manager okay and from the second table i would say e2 dot salary i'm saving as manager's salary okay so if i just now run this query I will get my result so this join you just need to remember here i am joining from one of the table with the manager id second table with the id and whatever i'm selecting i'm getting it here now i can simply use a where condition so i can say where this salary must be greater than this salary right so that is how i get the result one of salary greater than e2 dot salary correct let's go ahead and execute so we can see if we are getting the same result so this is the first records and uh, you can see the manager's salary is uh, less and the employee salary is more this is the second records so this is how we are getting the same result that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like my content do subscribe to my youtube channel have a good day take care bye bye